The questions that I'll be answering in this video include this person's having a problem with the computer restarting, gaming, case, help, DVI versus VGA, the new Corsair H70 cooler UPS, uh, what router do I have, a sound card humming issue, what CPU cooler, choosing a GPU, uh, a large case underneath the desk and cooling issues, um, this person's I think having uh, system reboot issues, um, the new ATI 10.7 driver, uh, the ATI HD 5850 versus the GTX 470, um, Crisis 2, uh, a second monitor, and yes, that's it. That's a lot, uh, and I'll be covering those in this video. This person's having issues with their computer system, uh, shutting down and other issues, uh, when uh, this person is playing games, a GTA, Modern Warfare, and so on and so forth. Well, this sounds like a heat-related problem. Uh, make sure that you have adequate case ventilation. And if you are living in a hot environment and your home or office is very warm, you know, try and make it as cool as possible. The other option is to open the left side panel, put a big fan and blow cool air right in the case and see if that helps. Also make sure that there's no dust on anything like the fans, the power supply fan and so on and so forth. And also if you have dust filters, make sure you clean them. Uh, another thing is to check your uh, system memory on your motherboard and make sure that that's not defective. What you can do there is try one module at a time until you hit the one that is defective if that's the problem. But it sounds like it sounds like um, a heat related issue so check that out first and after that you can start to diagnose the uh, system hardware. It might be memory, it could be a video card issue, it could be other issues as well but it's hard to say exactly but it sounds like a heat related issue to me. This next question is about a gaming case. I would recommend the Cooler Master Half X case right now. This is one of the very best cases on the market. Personally, I still have the Cooler Master 840 case myself. And by the way, if you want to check out what I have in my system, you can go to www.rodsrig.com. This next question is about DVI versus VGA. Of course, DVI stands for Digital Visual Interface and VGA stands for Video Graphics Array. Um, VGA is older than DVI. DVI is a digital signal. It can carry uh, a lot more information and you can have high resolution and there are different types of DVI connectors and I did a pretty detailed Q&A video on this a while ago on 3dgameman.com and that video is number 117 if you want to check it out. This next question is about the Corsair H70 cooler. This person is pretty upset because they released this product and this person went out and just purchased their older product, the H50. Don't be upset with Corsair for trying to improve their products. Don't be upset with any company trying to do this. You are responsible for doing your research. Find out what's coming out before you buy an existing product because, I mean, everyone knows that companies are always releasing new products. It's just sometimes we don't know when they are released. And if you just purchased the product, maybe you can return the product and wait until the new product has been released. And by the way, the H50 is still an amazing cooler, so don't be disappointed in that. I know the H70 is supposed to perform a little better, but it is also going to cost more than the H50, so keep that in mind. And don't be angry with Corsair and don't be depressed about this. Uh, you made the decision, you can either you know, live with it and go forward or return it and wait and get the newer product. This next question is about a UPS or uninterrupted power supply which is basically a battery backup if the power fails in your home or office or wherever you are. I personally use a UPS because it's wonderful if the power just fails and you know you have time then to back up your data and power off your system or keep working for a few minutes and normally um, you know in most developed countries uh, once the power does fail it's usually not gone for long it's usually a few minutes and it's back again or a few seconds and it's back again so I would recommend getting a decent UPS 
Um, and I personally use the Ultra 1200 watt backup UPS and this is quite good. I've been using this one for a very very long time. And by the way, if you want to check out that and more information about my systems, you can go to www.rodsrig.com and I also did a fairly detailed Q&A video on this on 3dgameman.com quite a while ago and that Q&A video number is 78. This next question is what router do I use currently? Well at the moment I'm using a TrendNet TEW691GR. This is a wireless and gigabit router and I'm using category 6 cables throughout. This next question is about a sound card and humming or buzzing noise being heard through the speakers. Now this could be a number of different things. It could be the sound card. You might have another issue though on the computer system. But I would try this first. If you have onboard audio, and I believe this is a separate sound card you are referring to here, try to remove the sound card and use the onboard audio and see if it's still happening. If it doesn't happen with your onboard audio, then you know right away that more than likely it's the sound card that's the issue and you can replace the sound card maybe take it back to the store you bought it and get another one or you can get a better sound card now there is another option as well another issue that might be causing this it could be a video card related issue some video cards when you move the mouse around or when they're under stress or when they're overclocked will cause a humming noise or a buzzing noise uh, that can be heard sometimes just emanating from the video card itself and sometimes it will go through the audio system um, and we will do that so it might not be your sound card it might be your video card or it might be another component on the motherboard that's causing this humming or buzzing noise it might even be the power supply so really put your air to your system put your air to your speakers and find out and try those things that I mentioned and hopefully uh, one of them will work. Oh, and you might also want to check out my Q&A video number 72 on 3dgameman.com on electronic buzzing squealing noise. This next question is about the best air cooler or choosing a CPU air cooler. Well, there are a couple really good ones out there. One of them being the Cooler Master V10 air cooler, and I actually still use this cooler myself. And as well, check out the Noctua NHD14. Now, I did do a Q&A video on this. You can check out RodneyWinnells.com or go to my Rodney Reynolds YouTube channel and do a search for Q&A video number 25. This next question is about choosing a GPU or video card. This person's looking at possibly getting the ATI HD 5770 video card. Well, personally, I would save a few extra dollars, hold off for a little while, and get the NVIDIA GTX 460 because the GTX 460 right now is the very best bang for the buck video card on the market. This next question is about putting your computer case underneath your desk and issues with regards to the fans not being able to intake and exhaust correctly because you know the case is too close to the desk or too close to the wall and so on and so forth. Yes, there is a concern with that and you do want to have enough space around the case, certainly around the intake and exhaust fans you know, for the fans to do their job, intake cool air and exhaust the warm air. You want at least an inch of clearance for the fans to do their job. Now, there isn't a concern, you know, to put your case underneath your desk as long as you have that clearance. So don't be too concerned about that. And if you are, for example, putting your case on a carpeted surface or a very soft surface like that, you really should maybe put it on wood and then put it on the carpet or the soft surface because if you put you know a case on a soft surface the feet will sink down and if you have fans at the bottom like for example your power supply fan and it can't intake correctly well you know what's going to happen things are going to overheat and you're going to have uh, overheat uh, related problems this next question is about the new ATI drivers the 10 .7 drivers 
and some people are experiencing issues with them some people are you know saying they're laggy and so on and so forth well you know what you can do is uh, there is an update for uh, the 10.7 driver so you can try that uh, you can also just revert and go back uninstall the 10.7s and install the 10.6s if that worked for you you could do that as well uh, hopefully uh, in the 10.8 they'll probably uh, you know do a better job and maybe resolve some of the issues that they're having right now with the uh, 10.7 drivers this next question is about two video cards the ATI HD 5850 and the NVIDIA GTX 470 which one to go for which would be the better GPU well bang for the buck would be on the 5850 however I would recommend scrapping both of those and probably going with a GTX 460 and overclock it this next question is about crisis 2 yes it seems that unfortunately crisis 2 has been delayed until next year and you know what that's fine get it right work out all the bugs make sure it's a finished product before you know you release it that's wonderful I don't care how long they delay something just get it right this next question is about a second monitor and they concern if uh, you add a second monitor will it degradate or decrease performance on the video card well it can in gaming if you're going to use both screens you know while you are gaming and it, what it does is increase the resolution of the screen and of course the greater the resolution uh, you know the more stress it'll put on the video card and you might need to get a higher end video card if you're thinking about doing that you know what in most cases a single screen is fine uh, for gaming but if you do want to have multiple displays for gaming you really truly need to have a higher end video card 